Hi there everyone, it's Jaakko here. I got this Zebra's 10th Anniversary Limited Edition here and I just wanted to show you this because the package is pretty cool and it comes with this little leaflet from Pixologic which just basically says that thanks for purchasing the Anniversary Special Edition of Zebrush, all this kind of retro coolness. So without further ado, I'd like to show my 5 favorite features in Zebrush. So number one would be brushes. Zebrush comes with so many different brushes and if you come from academic background you can see that there's things like rake and so on and you can kind of understand what they are just by looking at the name. If you go to Lightbox you can even find more of them here in, uh, in the categories like uh, we have uh, clay, curves, deco, displays, flatten and, and so on. So one of my favorites is this Trim Smooth Border Brush which I use to create this rock. So definitely go to Lightbox and explore with the brushes. So number two would be the ability to drop the model to 2D canvas and create a sort of an atlas of your model and something that you can use to show the model's uh, proportions and so on. So we have like this model here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like uh, drop this guy in here about and I'm gonna hit T. So then I can drag another copy of the model here and I can just like scale it. It's a little bit confusing for someone who is using this for the first time, but when you get used to this, it's a really great way to... If you need to show this to someone and you want to just kind of basically let someone know that what your model is all about, it's a really great way to just quickly create a sort of an overview of what you've been doing. So to have the canvas can also be used to create tiling textures. So if you just create square document and Drop, drop the model to the canvas and offset the canvas a little bit and then you can use things like this MRGB Z grabber which will allow us to, to get depth map and also you're going to be able to create normal maps out of, out of this so it's another way to use 2D canvas. So then the third one would be definitely Dynamesh. So if you go to Geometry you can see that we have this Dynamesh in here and what this allows us to do is to sculpt without limits of geometry. So if I'm taking a look at this, we got this geometry now and this isn't really suitable for sculpting so I'm gonna hit Dynamesh and see what's gonna happen. So Dynamesh will allow us to, to create this very uniform kind of a mesh that is really optimal for sculpting. So if I get the move brush and start to sculpt and I get this stretching, I can just control drag outside the model to re-dynamesh and get basically new base mesh to work with. So we can just keep doing this, it's a really great way to to keep building and we don't need to worry about the underlying geometry in this case we just can read down the mesh when we need and get a basically new base mesh to work with at uh, any time so yes uh, it's a huge thing so also we have ability to use booleans in dynamesh which is a really great way to to build uh, hard surface objects for example so feature number four dynamic subdivision this is really great because it allows us to adjust the sharpness of the edges here so I'm gonna go in the coverage and just drag around you can really see that we get a real-time preview how it's gonna be so so this is kind of like turning on sub patch mode in Lightweb or using turbo smooth modifier in, in 3ds max so when we are done we can just hit apply and and continue sculpting with uh, Zebra's tools so yes dynamic subdivision great thing so number five Ziri mesh this is the automatic retopology tool in Zebras and this really works well. It's pretty amazing what you can come up with this. So for example, I've got this mesh which I created using it and you can see that the quality is so good that you could probably use this for even for production as it is without having to do any further work. You can also use guides to, to manually adjust it and use like adaptive size which basically adjusts the shape of the polygons. So, Yes, a really big fan of Ziri Mesher. This is one of the, the best features in ZBrush. Please do check this out if you have ZBrush. It will save some time for you for sure. So this was Jakko. I hope you enjoyed my top 5 features in ZBrush. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.